So, welcome to this agent webinar. Did you start? Okay, so um, hope you can see me, you can hear me well and loud. Um, in this webinar about uh, Fontes University of Applied Sciences, um, I want first I give you a short introduction, the overview of this webinar. In short, it will be about uh, Fontes, it will be a little bit about the Netherlands, we will tell you a few things about um, the programs we offer here. Um, why should a student from Poland, particularly from Poland, uh, choose to come here uh, to study at Fontes and probably starts up his or her career? And we will also want to focus on typical agent uh, issues which are relevant for you to know uh, if you want to have uh, want to start up a good recruitment um, procedure for potential students. Um, let's first start with a very short movie to give you a, a kind of idea what type of university we are. So this video will take around uh, two minutes. So I will start it now one moment If you would ask me why would students come to the Netherlands to Eindhoven to study here, I can give you two main reasons. Firstly, we have an international business environment here. Many companies in this region, they engage in international business. Secondly, they are related to engineering, ICT and business. Those three-fold combinations is perfect these days to make proper business. That's what you learn here. Being an international student at Fontes University has enabled me to follow an internationally recognized curriculum. I've had the opportunity to learn with people from different nationalities. And uh, since the world is becoming a global village, this will enable me to integrate in any multinational organization because I've learned to appreciate and understand different cultures. Currently, I'm doing my first internship at Philips. It is a research project in the topic of near field communication. And more specifically, I'm working on improving the technology of body area communication. And now I can see how important are the skills and knowledge I gained at Fontis for my professional career. I like studying at Fontis because uh, we get a lot of projects assigned by different companies. Uh, as well, the theory lessons are put in practice by pra in practical lessons. And at the end, uh, to sum it all, an internship which is offered. Also, Fontis provides a proud program and uh, which awards excellent students. Okay, this was this very short video about um, uh, Fontis, especially Fontis campus Eindhoven, but later I will also tell you more about our up campuses, especially what programs we offer there, uh, which are in Venlo and Tilburg. Uh, by the way, you can always ask your questions. Um, you can also um, uh, interrupt me whenever you have questions which are relevant for you. Um, so please um, make use of that opportunity so that you can get as much information as possible. Um, I now want to continue with our PowerPoint presentation. As you know, our motto is think bigger. We want to develop our students here from um, uh, high school students to um, to junior 
specialists in whatever study fields. And uh, later I will show you what study fields we are talking about. Um, this is a typical image for the Netherlands. Um, a lot of bikes. Um, we are widely regarded uh, as the heaven for cyclists. Um, visiting any of the cities or villages in the country, it's noticeable that there is a dense network of cycling paths and key components of the transport system. Some interesting facts. The Netherlands, we count around 17 million people. Internationally, our country is often called Holland. However, it only refers to two of the 12 provinces. Worldwide, we are the second best in English proficiency uh, as a non-native English speaking country. The Dutch on average speak over three languages. More than 200 nationalities live in the country. On top of that, the country counts more than 90,000 international students. The Netherlands is very centrally located within Europe, making it very easy to travel to other countries. Fontys campuses. Um, the main campus is situated in the city of Eindhoven, but we also have substantial campuses in Tilburg and Venlo. The Eindhoven region is called Brainport region because it's famous for its high-tech systems, um, the so-called materials and technology region of the Netherlands. Not only in the Netherlands, but also in Europe, a very important technology region. At the same time, Venlo, which is close to the German border, it's our logistics hotspot. And business and economics are main fields offered in Venlo campus, but also in Tilburg campus and partly also in Eindhoven. The study programs Fontes University of Applied Sciences offers are closely related to the locations these programs are offered at. Within these regions, Fontes cooperates with companies for interesting projects, internships and future job opportunities. Moreover, cooperation with these companies helps Fontes keeping up its study programs up to date. The region Eindhoven, I already mentioned, the Brainport region is located in the southeast of the Netherlands. It's an internationally recognized center of science and technology. The Eindhoven campus therefore attracts many international students with a passion for ICT, engineering or business. After graduation, the region offers students excellent career opportunities in the world of technology and business. And the video we have just shown partly already mentioned this. Tilburg, which is a little bit to the west, is a dynamic and cultural city in the midpoint region of the Netherlands, with many art events and festivals. It's the home of various cultural institutions. Tilburg has much to offer to students, including a vibrant student life. More than 28,000 students study at one of the three universities in Tilburg. Fontes Venlo is, only, is located only five minutes away from Germany, in one of the strongest cross-border regions in Europe. Being Europe's most important logistics hotspot, it has always had an international focus and a strong sense of entrepreneurship. This is represented in the international Fontes campus in Venlo, in Venlo which is home to students with over 50 nationalities. The cozy and historic city center of Venlo has buildings dated back to the 14th century. Student cities, all of them, doesn't matter which one, they offer social events, student associations, shopping possibilities, ease of traveling, and a lot of sporting facilities. Okay, so this was some brief information about the Netherlands. Reasons to study at Fontes University. 
Let's just mention a few of them. Um, first of all, you can summarize a lot of these reasons in live, study and work in a smart region. I already mentioned Fontes is located in the southeast of the Netherlands. Internationally, the region is known as Brainport region, top European center of science and technology. It's also the main logistics hotspot I already mentioned. These facts make the Brainport one of the strongest economic regions mm -hmm. in Europe, with a great choice of companies for doing internship and sufficient vacancies to start up the career of an international student. The bachelor programs at Fontes University are practically oriented. During your studies, you will work on various projects such as starting your own company or developing a robot to solve a certain problem. Additionally, a student will have to do two internships, so two semesters, during the course of their studies. That shall significantly increase the chances of the student getting a good job after graduation. In the Netherlands, there are great good transportation facilities by car, train, plane and bike. I already showed you a picture to all Fontes campuses and city, especially the over six surrounding airports in the range of 150 kilometers make it easy to travel back home for holidays and other occasions. Eindhoven campus even has its own international airport. Lots of sports facility Fontes offers its students a large variety of sports facilities, such as swimming, fitness, rowing, squash, football, tennis, you can name it. Classrooms are normally quite small. 20 to 25 students in a group of students that go through the study route as a group. Various projects that resemble real life problems during the course of the studies, such as, as I already mentioned, starting up your own company, developing a robot or other kind of uh, uh, devices. Every bachelor program at Fontes has a minor program next to the two internships. The minor program is normally placed in the third year of studies because Fontes is a University of Applied Sciences. There are a lot of relationships with more than 500 international companies, of which many are located in the direct region of Fontes. Our students mostly find a job within three to six months after graduation, or even before graduating. Again, when you have questions, let us know. You can do it real time. Um, by the way, I didn't introduce uh, my colleague so far, which is Mara. She's sitting next to me. She's the technical assistant, so she can help with all kinds of questions as well. Okay, um, you switched on the microphones, uh, Mara, in the meantime. So when you have questions, please let me know. Very important for you to know as an agent is that in the Netherlands we have two types of universities. Universities of Applied Sciences, just like Fontes, and we, won, we are one of the biggest universities of Applied Sciences in the Netherlands, but we also have around 15 research universities. Here we have mentioned some differences. Uh, at our university, you always have a combination of theoretical and practical uh, experiences. Uh, whereas at a research university, the program is scientific, academic. Our bachelor programs are always four years, whereas bachelor programs at research universities are normally three years. And the main difference is because of the two internships I already mentioned briefly. So there is a focus on practical assignments that can be anything, projects, uh, working in laboratories, uh, 
uh, of course, doing the internships. Uh, that's all named among practical assignments. Whereas at a research university, it's mainly research theory. Project-based education is very prominent uh, in our bachelor programs. Whereas at a research university, it's a lot of self-study. Internships are mandatory. At a research university, it's sometimes possible, but it's not mandatory. To summarize, in our bachelor programs, it's about apply existing knowledge, whereas at a research university it's about generating new knowledge. So here you have some main differences. The degrees we offer for, for bachelor programs can either be a Bachelor of Science or a Bachelor of Arts that has the same value, the same degree as what students get from research universities. Um, let's focus now a little bit more on the variety of bachelor and master programs we offer. Um, most of our programs, of course, are offered in the Dutch language, uh, but also around 28 programs are offered in English, and even some of the programs are offered in the German language. And especially for this last category, um, you have to focus on the programs offered in Venlo. These are the main fields we offer. Arts in Tilburg, business management, uh, marketing that can be chosen in Eindhoven, Venlo and Tilburg, logistics, it's only possible in Venlo, engineering programs, that can be anything, electrical engineering, mechanical engineering, mechatronics engineering, and also automotive engineering will be offered in Eindhoven. ICT programs, um, mainly in Eindhoven, and some tracks are also offered in Venlo campus. Communication management is offered in Eindhoven. Uh, there is one field missing, that's a field what we call physiotherapy, that's also offered in Eindhoven campus. So these are the main fields. By the way, at a UAS university, just like Fontes, the focus is always on bachelor programs. We have some master programs on offer. I will show you later, but they're in fact only offered in Venlo and some in Tilburg. Um, by the way, in this webinar, we will not focus on the content of the programs. For that, uh, I refer to our website, fontus.edu. There you can find a lot more about the content, structure, uh, application procedures, etc., for the specific bachelor or master programs. As I mentioned before, we are uh, one of the biggest universities of applied sciences in the Netherlands, so we have a lot of study fields on offer. For example, in ICT engineering, IB communication, which are uh, offered in, in Eindhoven. Uh, it's about industrial engineering management, business communication, the engineering programs, and we have a whole range of ICT programs. And they relate from uh, media design up to technology, software engineering, infrastructure, and business. Uh, as I already mentioned, in Campus Venlo, we offer the logistics management and engineering programs, um, including uh, economics program, IB, uh, international marketing, etc. Um, in Tilburg campus may be very uh, special to mention. Uh, we start now in September 2019 with a communication program which is called International Event Music and Entertainment Studies. Uh, and the communication program mentioned here, International Communication Management, is offered in Eindhoven. Um, let me see how to continue. Um, are there any questions so far, uh, Mara? No. Okay, then just let's continue. Um, with 
more bachelor programs we have on offer related to marketing management, international marketing, which is offered in Venlo campus, digital business concepts is a program, a marketing program offered in Tilburg campus, finance and control, international finance management and control is offered in Venlo campus and international lifestyle studies. It's a program, a bachelor program offered in Tilburg. Uh, we also have some uh, special programs related to fine arts and performance, Dance Academy, Academy of Music and Performing Arts. Um, by the way, the latest winner of the Eurovision Song Festival uh, also was a former student of this Academy of Music and Performing Arts, Duncan Lawrence. And there is also a program related to circus and performance art. So, uh, by the way, these programs, these bachelor programs are offered in Tilburg. And the final bachelor program offered, uh, we offer physiotherapy that's offered in Eindhoven. I mentioned briefly the master programs. Um, the first five are related to uh, art. Master of Architecture, Urbanism, Music, Performing, Public Space and Choreography. They are all offered in Tilburg. And Business and Logistics related programs, the one year master programs, cooperation with Venlo Campus and Plymouth in the UK, the Master of Science in Business Management and Master of Science in International Logistics and Procurement. As what I told you before, we will not focus in depth on these programs. I just want to offer you the range of programs and more information about these programs can be found on the fontes.edu website. Okay. Um, important for you to know is that all our bachelor programs are four year bachelor programs. Um, the first year can be looked upon as an exploration year. So in the first year, the student mm. and the university has to find out what the program is about. Yeah. The first year is always what we call a selection year. But right from the beginning, the student will be involved in typical study related subjects which are relevant for the study field the student has chosen. In year two, there will be a focus, more in-depth uh, program related to the major the student has chosen. In year three, the student will do his first internship. So one semester, the student will work and study in a company. And the second semester of year three is always a minor program. And a minor program is also very typical for Dutch university system. Um, a minor is one semester and the minor may relate to the major of what the student has chosen, but it can also be something totally different. The minor program is always a university program. That's what the student can do here at Fontis, but the minor can also be done at a, another university, either in the Netherlands or abroad. We work together with a lot of Erasmus partners within Europe especially within Europe, and there students often choose to do their minor program. Finally, in year four, the student will specialize in his or her study field, and the final semester is always the graduation semester. So then the student works and studies again in a company, and at the same time, the student has to write its uh, bachelor thesis and then hopefully at the end the student has achieved 240 credits European credits uh, which lead to the achievement of the bachelor degree and as what I told you before that can either be a BA or a bachelor of science degree so this is in a nutshell uh, how every bachelor program at a UES university is structured. 
Um, as what I told you, because we are a UES university, so uh, theory, practical orientation, very essential. Uh, applied science, so uh, making better existing knowledge. That explains why we have so many relationships with companies, because students need to do their internships there. And companies provide us with assignments which can be done during practical classes. You know. So that's the relationship uh, universities in the Netherlands have with companies. And because of these relationships, um, the work to be done by the university, by the students, by the companies, is clearly defined in contracts. So when a student is doing an internship in a company, it's clearly defined what the tasks will be, what we expect from the company, what we expect from the student and what the student and the company may expect from the university. So relationships with companies is essential part of our programs. I already mentioned before, students, even studying here with us, still have the option to study abroad. You know, I already mentioned the minor option, but it's also possible for students to do one, maybe two of their internships abroad. You know? So that's always possible within all programs. Practical matters. So um, the focus from now on uh, will also relate more to specific information agents need to know when you get in touch with potential students and who have an interest to study in the Netherlands, specifically here with us at Fontis. Uh, admission requirements. In general, you can say that a diploma of higher secondary education needs to be achieved by the student for being accepted in one of our programs. Here, I also refer again to the website, Fontis Edu, if you go to the specific programs, sometimes programs have special uh, requirements. Think of engineering programs where students normally require mathematics and physics. So that's what you can find on the websites of each specific uh, study program. In general, you can say that students need to have an English level which is equivalent to IELTS 6.0. And here we speak of the academic IELTS level. Um, how to apply? Uh, in the Netherlands, just like in the UK, we have a national system which is called studylink.nl. So there the student can make up to four applications for four different uh, university programs uh, where he can apply. He has to uh, give in his uh, data. Of course, uh, he needs to apply for, uh, for a specific program, and then the student or the agency will get in touch with the admin office of that particular program. Um, deadline, a general deadline for September intake is June 15. Um, Look upon this, especially for European students, as the, uh, the latest deadline because it's not only applying for a, a university program, uh, but it's also applying for accommodation. And there the deadline is really the 15th of June. For some programs, we also have an, uh, uh, an admission not only for uh, August, but also for February, and there the deadline is 15 November. In fact, there are only some programs which also have a February intake, and then we're talking about all ICT programs offered at campus Eindhoven and the IB program, International Business Program at campus Venlo. Uh, I see there's a question coming in. Um, do you need a great transcripts? Um, in fact, the answer is no. So what we need is a great transcript, yeah, but um, we don't need to have, let's say, specific grades. 
Yeah? So normally, when a student receives his or her higher second, secondary school education, so diploma, as we call it in the Netherlands, um, it's also linked to a grade transcript. That's what the student has to submit. So there the answer is yes, but it's not, uh, it does not need to, to, to fulfill certain requirements. Did I answer this question in this way? Uh, hi, okay. Leo, it's um, Camilla. Can you hear what's me? What's also very important, of course, are the tuition no. costs. When we're talking about European students, like Polish students, um, then a student pays for the first year 1,401 euros. Um, that's a special uh, government regulation that's now for the second year um, because that's uh, one of the reasons the, the government last year changed the scholarship program and one of the outcomes was that um, for new students so who start a bachelor program for the first time in the Netherlands the uh, the fees the tuition fees are only 50 percent for the second third and fourth year the fees will be 2083 euros mind these are the fees now for students starting in september 2019 the fees for september 2020 will probably be a little bit higher normally there's a range around 30 40 euros maximum as you can see the tuition fees for non European students are much higher and that depends on what uh, program the student is choosing for. In general you can say for economics business programs the non-EU students pay 7,680 euros. For the uh, engineering programs these students pay a little bit more 9,830 euros. All this information of course can also be found at our agent portal. And when we have finished this PowerPoint presentation, we will switch to the agent portal. Um, of course, you have access to the agent portal and there you can find a lot more information as well. In general, I can tell you that applying for a Dutch university program, it's quite easy. Yeah? Um, Overall, you may say that getting in Dutch university programs, it's also quite easy. You know, when you fulfill the requirements, in fact, all students need to be accepted. You know, that's stated by educational laws. But keep in mind that, as what I already mentioned in the overview of the four-year structure, the first year is a selection year. So in the first year, the student needs to achieve a high level of credits to be allowed to continue that specific program. Yeah. So that's very important uh, for you as an agent to know. Let me see, are there more questions coming in so far? I don't see them, so we can continue then with some more practical matters. Um, yeah, in general, study costs, um, uh, you have to think of uh, living expenses, um, uh, accommodation, food, clothes, etc., insurances, books. Yeah, that depends, of course, on the, um, on, on, on the particular student, but you have to think of an amount between 875 up to uh, 1,100 euros a month. You know? Um, for European students, we don't need to take care of visa costs and uh, an all-in insurance for students for one year normally has uh, costs around 410 up to 650 euros, depends on what type of insurance you want to take. Mind that in the Netherlands, it's compulsory to have a health insurance. You know? So everybody living, so also students, living in the Netherlands, you need to have a health insurance. Sometimes it's possible that you can 
use your own health insurance uh, used in your own yeah. country. Sometimes that's not possible. And then we can take care of an all-in insurance, so also including health for students as well. Yeah. More information about this can be found on the website, but also you can ask us these questions uh, individually, and then of course we will answer them. Funding and scholarships, in fact, there we make a difference between EU European students and non-European students. Um, to keep it simple now, uh, European students, they can make use of what we call loans, and there, therefore you have to go to the website of do.nl. Uh, Non-EU students, because they have to pay higher fees, um, we have specific uh, scholarships here available at Fontis, especially for ICT and engineering and the Creative Mind programs, which are in Tilburg University. Uh, and there is also, but that's limited, a number of scholarships offered by the Dutch government, which are called Holland scholarships. But these three scholarships are only for non-EU students. Accommodation, I already mentioned before. Uh, students can assist in securing suitable student accommodation. Uh, we don't have our own dormitories, but we have good uh, cooperation with housing agencies and they take care of student accommodations. But as what I mentioned before, we can only guarantee the student accommodations if they apply for it before the 15th of June. You know? So um, never advise your potential students uh, to search for their own accommodation if they don't have relatives or friends living here in, in one of our campuses because that's, that's almost impossible. So then you can better uh, ask Fontis to, let's say, to mediate between the student and the housing agency uh, to help him that he will receive good accommodation. You know? Okay, um, what's going on? I think I already mentioned it. Uh, in the beginning, we showed you uh, a video about Eindhoven campus. For Tilburg and Venlo campus, there are also videos available um, uh, on the agent portal, which we will see, we will go to in a minute. Uh, there you can also find more information about these specific locations. Um, to help students to experience what Fontis means, we have several options. Um, let me see. First of all, we have a couple of open days. Normally there are three open days during a uh, academic year. The next open day will be somewhere in November, on the 9th of November. Students can apply for it. We will take care of free accommodation. We will take care of catering, food. The, only, the student only has to take care of his own ticket. Um, he needs to apply well in advance, of course. And then the student has the opportunity to come and visit us, find out what's going on, talk to teachers, talk to students, have a look around, see what accommodations are. You know, so that's a good option for students, for your potential students, uh, to find out what it means to study here with us at Fontis. Online, uh, we have uh, several options, social media webinars are available. Uh, when you go, for example, to our YouTube channel, you can find all kinds of webinars about specific programs. Uh, students where you can get in touch with. So there you can ask all your questions. Um, we also are at fairs, educational fairs, also organized by yourself. So there you and the potential students have the opportunity to visit us. And of course, uh, also students, maybe together with their parents, they can always visit us during the academic year. 
is if you make an appointment with specific departments you want to visit, they're always pleased to invite you for uh, a meeting, for a tour, to get in touch with students, etc. So in case you cannot, if in case you or students cannot make it to visit us on the open days. Um, on fontes.edu meet us, you can also find more information. Uh, I can see here the overview, by the way, of the open days on the 9th of November, it will be in Eindhoven, the 16th of November, it will be in Tilburg and Venlo, on 26th of January 2020, it will be in Eindhoven again, and on the 19th of January, it will be in Tilburg and Venlo, and then finally on the 21st of March, there will be an open day in all three campuses. So, a lot of opportunities to come and visit us. Um, and again, check the calendar for more information on fontis.edu slash meet us. Um, the agent portal, I already mentioned, um, very important, again, to mention all applications first should go through studylink.nl. You know? um, all kind of promo materials can be found on the Agile portal and our YouTube channels. Uh, admission requirements are on each individual website of each program. And whenever you want to get in touch with us, you can send us emails. So, Mara, let's go to the agent portal now. Oh, there is a question. One moment, there is a question. I cannot read it. Can you, oh, you have to. One moment, please. Could you please specify whether it's necessary to take economics as a subject at school in Amsterdam? Uh, it's advisable to study economic, to take economics as a subject at, uh, um, at a school subject in order to study marketing management, yes. Um, so that's my advice, but it's not compulsory. So it's advisable, but not compulsory. So I hope I answered this question by now. So can we switch to the agent portal now, uh, Mara? One moment. Okay. Um, this should look familiar to you uh, because uh, if you go to fontes.edu slash agent information, um, then you will see a lot of information which is really typical for you as an agent. Um, Very important to know, to know is that Fontes works only with agents based on agreed contracts. Uh, and when you have a contract with Fontes, we can also um, um, we can also send you a certificate for your office that you are an official representative of uh, Fontes. Uh, let me see. I should increase the volume of. Okay, hopefully it's better now. Okay, so um, uh, we should have a, a formal contract, um, but keep in mind there are some programs which are the so-called uh, numerous fixes programs, uh, which are physiotherapy and art bachelor programs. For those programs, we cannot offer you commission fees. Yeah. So normally um, when an agent uh, is able to uh, recruit students for Fontis. You can send us an invoice for this. Um, a lot of information can be found, of course, under payment terms and conditions. Um, there you can see what the commission fees will be. Um, that's quite simple. In fact, it relates to the number of students 
for the first 10 students for specific clusters of, of, of programs, which are also explained here, as you can see, cluster and program information. Um, so when it's one to 10 students, it's 700 euros per student. And when it's more than 10, it's 800 euros per student. So there you can find a lot of information. Uh, so at payment terms and conditions um, and cluster and program information. Um, can I click on this, Mara? Something went wrong, Mara. I can't see anything anymore. One moment, please. We have a small technical problem. Okay, we are back now. At, yeah, but I don't think that's working right now. Pausing screen. But hopefully, um, okay, there we are. So here we are on the page of um, payments, terms and conditions. Very important for you to know, whenever you send um, invoices to us, always send them directly to digitale facture at fontes.nl. You can see it in the middle of the page there. Eh? Mm -hmm. yeah. um, because that's how it works. We are, we are not allowed to send in invoices by ourselves. You have to do it. You know? Also take care of the notes to EEA agents, and so that's you, or non-EEA agents. So here you can find uh, information about terms and conditions. You know? Normally, um, when a student indicates in his application uh, or when you make the application for the student in StudiLink, so you can automatically insert uh, the name of your agency, and then you will automatically be put on the list that you will receive the commission fees. Um, so, and a very important page for you. Uh, also, I already mentioned application and finances for students. Um, the digital promotional materials, but next to this, we also have our own YouTube channels. And uh, as what I mentioned, if you go to the specific uh, pages, websites of the specific programs, uh, they all have their own YouTube channels, more or less, where you can find a lot of information. Of course, when you need um, physical materials, think of uh, brochures, banners, whatever. If you need them, let me know, then we can send them to you. Uh, you understand right now we are working on the new brochures for the next academic year. So they're, they're not available right now, but somewhere beginning of October, they will be available and let me know how many brochures you need so that we can send them to you. But also other materials which are relevant for you. If you need them, let me know. Yeah. Um, in fact, uh, we, we really appreciate to work with agencies. Uh, I think we, will, we have uh, much to, to offer to each other, but for us, it's very important that uh, the agent uh, has good information, transparent information, so that the student really knows what to expect. That's very essential for us. You know, uh, in fact, we only uh, are happy when the student will be happy in his or her study program, and of course, when the student will be successful, not only in his study program, but also in his or her social life. Uh, don't forget, a student is making a, a huge decision 
uh, when he or she decides to study abroad. So, of course, you understand we want to make it um, a very successful decision, not only in the study program, but also in his or her social life, expanding his network, finding uh, good job opportunities here in the Netherlands or when the student decides to come back to his home country. So over here you can find a lot of information. Uh, Mara, can you help me? I have to go back now to the, maybe there are, to, to the, yeah. All right, there are no more specific questions. I probably missed this, but could you confirm that? Uh, yes, indeed, internships are uh, compulsory. That's also one of the main differences between a bachelor program at a UES university or a research university. Yeah? So the practical approach um, is really essential for, uh, for this type of bachelor program. Yeah? So that we, in fact, um, when the student graduate, that's he well prepared to start uh, his future career in whatever study field he has chosen. Yeah. That's the main difference uh, with research universities. However, uh, when a student graduates here with us in a bachelor program, he always has the opportunity to stream up in master programs. Yeah. For example, here in Eindhoven, we have a strong relationship with uh, the research university, which is University of Technology Eindhoven, in fact, students who are doing excellent during our bachelor program, we also offer them the so-called uh, pre-master program, which he can do while he's studying with us, so that he or she can stream up in the master program without any problems. And even so, if a student decides first to do his bachelor program with us, he can stream up in a pre-master program and master program at research universities. So that's not a problem. It only takes a little bit longer. You know? um, so when do they take place, the internships? As what I mentioned, the first internship is in the third year. And there, students have an option to choose whether they want to do it in the first or the second semester. And the second internship, it's always in the fourth year and that's always their final semester. You know, that's why we call it the graduation internship. Okay, do we have more to mention? Um, yeah, normally it takes one hour, this webinar, so uh, it's, it's almost one hour finished now. But of course, I want to give you uh, more opportunities for asking questions. So whenever you have questions, please let me know. Um, this webinar will also be recorded and we will uh, put it on our YouTube channel. So whenever you want to find out um, uh, what's, what, what we discussed, you can, uh, you can have a look at the webinar again, of course. Okay, we did that. Okay. Um, do you or your colleagues have more questions right now? Or can we consider the webinar as ended now? Maybe I can have a look here whether I forgot something. Hopefully we have given you a brief uh, let's say, orientation on the Netherlands, but of course there you can find a lot more, uh, especially related to the three cities where our international English taught. Uh, we, we focus on our English taught bachelor programs. If you want to find out more about Tilburg, Eindhoven or Venlo, um, of course there's a lot of information available uh, on the website on the internet, I mean. Um, so hopefully we have given you a good orientation on the Netherlands, the three campuses, some information about the programs, but especially that's what we focused on, on a lot of practical 
information which is relevant for you as an agent. So you two, thank you very much for joining this presentation. I wish you all the best and of course we stay in contact and don't forget to let me know whatever materials you need. I will be happy to provide you with it. So for now, all the best. Say goodbye also on behalf of Mara. Yeah, okay. See you.